Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fletch and I'm here today to talk about um, all the drone photography that I've been doing and specifically about this guy. This is the uh, Mavic 2 Pro, or sorry, the Mavic 2 Zoom, uh, which I've been doing a lot of uh, video shots uh, throughout uh, all the various adventures I have. So today uh, I'll take it on the road and it will give you a little bit more uh, of my insights of why I decided to have a drone. So let's take it to the road. Hello folks, I'm here on the road now uh, and today's topic is about uh, drones. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I think one of the reasons why I gotten myself the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Zoom was basically to um, be able to record all my um, adventures, so to speak, right? Because, well, let's put it this way, we could stop take photos, take some videos, selfies, and what have you. But that's, uh, at the end of the day, it is only one particular perspective, um, which is at eye level or ground level, right? But with the drone, it would mean that you would be able to take videos and be able to show people, you know, oh, especially when you say, ah, this is a beautiful place. It's got great views, um, and so on and so forth. But, you know, uh, there's nothing like a video from a bird's eye perspective to be able to tell you or show you what that really looks like, right? And the good thing about a drone is that you can decide whether you want to have a high view or a low view uh, you can actually have some cinematic uh, shots to really show off uh, how beautiful the, the vista is or the scenery is uh, and I think that's one of the most important things as they say uh, a picture is worth a thousand words and I believe that a video is worth a million Now, one of the reasons why I got myself uh, a drone also is to be able to do something a little bit different, I think. You know, a lot of times uh, doing a vlog like this, it would mean that, you know, we will have either the front view or the view that I usually like to take this of myself this way, that at least you know that I'm talking. But, uh, and you can see where the dialogue is coming from but the drone also helps you, helps us be able to give a, a well like i said earlier a different perspective but also um to to show something different right and i think one of the things i want to do with this channel is not just talk about motorcycling but everything that's related to motorcycles uh, and photography and videography uh, and everything in between and goodness gracious there's a jam I wonder why this is really not normal so I have to do the unthinkable and lane split Really heavy traffic here. Well, it's heavy traffic all the way. Well, apologies, I can't really talk very much while I'm concentrating lane splitting here. And this is nuts. I can't imagine why this is happening. Oh, and it doesn't help that uh, there's a truck here. Uh, 
Uh, this is the worst thing. A truck that doesn't have any brake lights. I don't know if he's braking or not. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I'll take this opportunity to continue talking. Um, so, having a drone would mean, number one, um, that I would be able to have great videos, different perspectives, uh, be able to do something different uh, on the channel. Now the cons. The Mavic 2 Zoom <laughs> is not a very small drone. It's good, it's, uh, it's really big, it's heavy, uh, easy to control, uh, has a lot of functions and so forth, but just like any DSLR, the downside is that if you're going to uh, be taking pictures or videos, invariably space becomes an issue. Now, you know, as motorcyclists, uh, I have two uh, Harley saddlebags on the side of my street bob. But, you know, the space is finite. I have maybe 20 kgs on each side, 20 liters on each side. And if I'm going on a long distance, on one side will be obviously all my clothes and stuff. And on the other side, uh, whatever I need for the trip, right? Electronics, uh, the drone and so forth. And honestly, there are many a times because of space constraints, I couldn't even bring the drone. Which is, to me, uh, I, I think a wasted opportunity. So, I'm considering getting the new Mavic Mini, which is way smaller, has the same kind of battery life, uh, albeit not very... Uh, the video is passable, you know, but I think in, in post, we should I should be able to improve on it. Uh, it does most of what other drones can do. If you're a capable pilot, you should be able to do a fair bit with it. Uh, almost as good as a, as, as a the Mavic 2 Zoom or Pro. Uh, but again, I'm not the sort to fly great distances or, or great heights because I think after a certain height, I think it's good enough, right? Uh, the fear would be of course flying it off the mountain, high winds, uh, I might lose it. Uh, so I will have to be careful about that. So that's the con. Okay, in any case, uh, one of the other reasons why I'm making this particular video is to show you, in point of fact, what those videos look like. So I'm going to do a montage of all the, the videos I took of my various trips and locations of the drone, of which I took off the drone, uh, on my travels from uh, Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand, and give you an idea of, of what I'm talking about. So, uh, without further ado, uh, and again, before I, uh, before I continue, um, if you do like this channel, please uh, do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button above. And please do like and comment as well. I'll also put uh, above the links to the other videos that I have uh, of the drones, the drone shots that I took 